Hey, Tim Uckert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a program in PHP that finds the area between two curves. Now, this is going to use some simple calculus, and we're not going to take a complex example, but you do want a little bit of understanding of calculus, so we're going to review how to do this. So I'm going to go to Draw Island here, and look that up, and go over to Draw Island, and let's get a little bit bigger screen here. And so... Um, so let's just uh, show you what I'm talking about. So if I do an x-axis here, y-axis here, and then let's say I draw one curve, which is x cubed, which let's say that starts off and then it jumps up. And then we have another one, um, let's call it x squared, and that'll start off and then you know, say, it, pretend that's a curve and not a line, and then, then it'll start to go up here. Um, x cubed, if you think about it, will be less than x squared for values between 0 and 1. And a simple illustration, if you think of cubing 1 half, you're going to get well, 1 cubed over 2 cubed, or 1 eighth. Uh, if you cube or if you square one half, you're going to get one squared over two squared, which is one fourth. Now, one eighth is less than one fourth. And if you aren't sure about that, you know, take a look at some of your, um, you know, uh, measuring cups. So, but after, after we get to one, the values after one, um, at one, they'll be equal because one cubed equals one squared. One times one equals one times one times one, right? Um, so after that, though, uh, when you cube something like, let's take the number two, two cubed is eight, two squared is four. So X cubed gets greater. Okay. So let's say this is about one here. Okay. So that's one and I'm totally not doing this to scale or anything like that. I'm just trying to illustrate this. Let's say this is, I don't know, three. And obviously this, if this is from zero to one, you know, this wouldn't really be from one to three, but let's say that's three. Uh, you know, and you just have to deal with my drawing. And we want to find this area here. Well, in calculus, you can find the area under the curve by taking the integral of um, the curve from a specific uh, x value to x value, value. So if I wanted to find, let's say this is x cubed here, and I wanted to find this total area here, you know, um, I could I could take the integral of x cubed, which looks something like this, and then evaluate it from, in this case, 1 to 3. Now, technically, what that equals is um, x to the fourth over 4 plus a constant. And then we evaluate that whole thing from three to one. Now the constant we're not going to worry about for this program uh, because it's going to go away when the when the subtraction occurs. Um, and then if I wanted to find the area under the curve of x squared, say this lower curve, let's do that in green. So this area, I'm going to take the integral from one to three of x squared. which is going to equal x cubed over 3. Okay, so if you don't know all this stuff, maybe you want to review your calculus, but this video is going to focus a bit on um, more on just the PHP and programming to get this to work. Okay, um, and this is from 3 to 1. Okay, this is a constant again. Again, the constant will go away. Um, but basically what happens is we're going to subtract this area from this area. If we subtract the green area from the blue area, we're going to get the red area. Make sense? Okay. Let's write our program. All right. So we're going to start into uh, writing some PHP. So I'm just going to open and close my PHP tags. And then I'm going to create a function. And I'm going to call that function area. Uh, let's just write it all out between curves. And then I'm going to be a little bit short with my variables because 
Um, if I got really wordy, it would go all the way across the page and I don't want to do that. So um, the variables that we need to know are the power, powers of X um, for the first curve, which is like, in this case, X squared, the uh, powers of the second curve, and then uh, the lesser X and the greater X. So uh, I'm just going to call a variable power curve one, and we'll do power curve two, uh, then lesser X, and then greater X. That's what we need to pass into this function. Okay, so then I'll uh, use my curly braces to encompass my or to surround my function. Um, and now what I want to do is actually do the function. So uh, I'm going to have the area of curve one. That's going to equal um, the, well, we're going to have to raise the lesser or the greater x value first. So we're going to do pow. And then we'll pass in the base. So that's going to be the greater x because um, when you evaluate, you do the higher number first minus the lower number. Again, that's some calculus stuff. If you don't know that, uh, maybe review. Uh, and then we're curve one. So we're going to do power curve one plus one. And then we're going to divide that by um, uh, then power curve one plus one. Because re remember, when we took like the integral of x squared, it becomes x cubed over three. So we you know, increase it by one. Okay, and then we have to subtract off. Also, we're going to use power, uh, the lesser x, uh, and then um, just the rest of this. And I'm just going to go along. I don't really want to type it. So I'm just going to copy it here. Let's just uh, yank it. And then we'll go over here and paste it. And at the end, we want to put a semicolon and then let's repaste this line. And I'm going to switch this to two, this to two. So this is the area of curve two now, this to two and this to two and this to two. Okay. And then we're going to go down here. Uh, the um, uh, total area, the area in between, we'll call that total area call whatever you want, is going to be the area of curve two minus the area of curve one. Okay, and then at the end of the function here, we're just going to return the total area. Okay, and then we're going to go down here and let's declare some of these variables. Now later on, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to do a video on Python where you get to enter in the values. But for this one, we're just doing a simple program where we pre-programmed in the or we've written in the values. Um, so power curve one was two, remember. Power curve two was three. Uh, the lesser x is one, and the greater x is three, okay? And we should get 11.33 repeating if this is gonna work, okay? Our solution is going to equal, I'm gonna go up here and yank this, because uh, I'm being lazy and I don't want to type it again. Go down here, let's paste it, okay, and put a semicolon there. Uh, and then, so that's our solution. And then let's, um, let's echo out the solution and let's make it nice. We'll concatenate uh, a new line here. Uh, so we'll use an escape character. Um, and then the new line, just so it looks good when we do it. Uh, I'm going to now save this and hopefully I haven't made any errors. So let's open up the terminal here and we'll run it. Uh, I have PHP installed so I can do this. So I'm going to type area between curves.php and we see we get 11.333 repeating and that's what you should get. And, um, you can get that if you, uh, uh, just do out the math, uh, you'll get that. Um, later on today, maybe I'll do a program uh, in Python doing this where the user inputs the stuff uh, and then maybe C, C++ or something like that. If you want a specific language, leave a request in the comments below and maybe I'll get to it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. And I thank you for watching and have a great day.